getting back you know, into that pH, you know, as we spoke about the difference between blueberries requirement of pH mm -hmm. and soil type. So do you believe, you're telling me that the microbes will do that over time or should I you know, continue with applications of elemental sulfur or do what I can to reduce the pH? Using well, you, you've, you have to get the biology established. And so it's, that's the threshold we have to go over, is get the organisms established in the soil and then stop. You don't... The elemental sulfur is a fungicide. So every time you put on elemental sulfur, sulfur, you're knocking back all of the biology that should be doing that job for you. You can't be putting on... The microbes. Yeah. If you're going to rely on the micro... If I put the sulfur on... Yeah, you're killing them. Kill you're at flat out killing them. What about NPK type fertilizers? Does that have the same effect? They're going to have less de across the board detrimental effect. But it's... Um, your soil doesn't lack phosphorus. You have more than enough phosphorus in the soil. You've got enough, enough potassium in the soil. You might be lacking sulfur. Here, you know, I'd want to take a look at your chemistry test. Uh, and if you're actually at lacking sulfur, the most effective way to get sulfur back into your soil is to put on compost or humic acid. Mm -hmm. Much more effective at, than putting on elemental sulfur. Elemental sulfur, generally, for the most part, just runs through your soil out the bottom and is destroying water quality every place downstream from you. You're not getting much benefit from it enough to see a difference in the growth of your plants for a short period of time. But it's causing environmental damage every place else. It won't be that much longer that people will be allowed to use those kinds of applications of chemicals onto their land because it has such detrimental effects downstream. We can't be doing this. No, I understand that. We, and so the sooner you can get the conversion going on the land, you won't ever have to worry about a government agency coming along and telling you you can't do this, you can't do that, because you've already gone through the conversion. So it's critically necessary to get these kinds of changes to reliance on the biology back into place in our soils. We've been killing off the biology for how many years? Long time. Mm -hmm. And so it may take a little effort, it may take a month, it may take you know, two weeks for that biology to get established and going. But we, we've got to have the applications, we've got to do the things necessary to get those organisms established and going. Because the compost, the, the humic acid, the tea has humic acid in it. And it should be an adequate supply of the sulfur the plant needs if we can get the nutrient cycling going on in the root system. So I shouldn't be using sulfur at all, I should be relying on compost tea Fix yep, the, uh, the foods and, and rely on the root systems of your plants. If we can build structure and get the roots going down deeper into your soil, you know, you don't even have to rely on the humic acid in the compost. But we've got to go through those first steps of getting the soil structure rebuilt, the organic matter in there to feed the organisms, and get the roots growing down deeper into the soil.